Uh, look, I've got something that might be able to help out if someone does steal your identity. Scientists have just unlocked a secret code which reveals when we are fibbing and it's our face that gives the game away. Former police detective and human lie detector Steve Van Apren joins us with more. Steve, good morning to you. Just explain to us what this study has t is telling us. Well, the research was released about a week ago from the uh, University of British Columbia and what they found was they were able to isolate five particular facial muscle groups which uh, indicated when people were feigning um, you know, uh, deception. So what they did, they had 52 people and they analysed over 23,000 individual frames of tape where people uh, did media or press conferences calling for the return of a, a missing loved one or calling for information uh, and so on. And what they did was they slowed down the tapes and viewed and they found that these muscle groups were almost impossible to replicate uh, when people were deceiving. All right, so do you think it's a situation where it could actually be used to convict a criminal? Is it foolproof? Well, look, typically juries are responsible for uh, determining guilt or innocence based on all the facts before it, but it, it has great application and utility and validity in uh, interviewing uh, people uh, from all walks of life, absolutely. All right, um, you've got some tips here if you can run through them on how to tell if someone is lying. We've got here, are they answering the question or deflecting? What does it, um, does it, does what they say reflect their body language? Are they masking, concealing or blocking? Are there signs of micro expressions? Are they creating distance rather than denying? So just explain how some of these give the game away. Well, firstly, the, the very first thing I teach people uh, is not just to be a question asker, but analyse human behaviour as well. So usually you find a deceptive person will answer a question with another question. They'll be evasive, omissive or dismissive. Secondly, I look for conflict or contradiction between what they're saying and what their body language is in fact displaying. So if I was interviewing somebody, uh, and I, I worked in the police uh, for 14 years, if I said, uh, did you uh, take that jewellery? And they say, no. Well, that's contradictory. Uh, I look for micro-expressions and also language. Uh, uh, how people reflect language. If I asked you what you did this morning, neurologically, you would be relying on memory to recall historical events. So what we find is often truthful people are much more direct and succinct, whereas deceptive people will create distance in their language. So they'll say, went here, did that. They didn't, wouldn't say, I went there. So they uh, lack ownership in the story that they're re recalling. Mm. Wow, it's fascinating. Mm. Thank you, Steve. Good to talk My to pleasure. you. Appreciate Thank your time. You. There you go. I wonder if you could use it at the poker table. Oh, yeah. There's an application. Mm. Yep. Yeah. They're handy Can tips, any of you tell? I'm when, it, when you're lying. When I'm lying. Well, your eyebrow. See, your eyebrow. <laughs> yeah, the eyebrow thing gets The too eyebrow much. thing is the big one. I reckon I'm going to have to do something about that eyebrow. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. flare your glow. nostrils. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Do you? I'm yeah, Nat flares the nostrils when you're about to laugh at something really hard. Your nostrils kind of go. There they go. Yeah. Yep. And you, well, I've just had a game away. <laughs> <laughs>